The navigator priest that I was describing was my mentor. Pius Mo Pi Lug was considered the greatest non-instrument navigator in the world. He comes from a small island called Satual in Micronesia. He is descended from a line of wayfinders who sailed across the Pacific covering three million square miles of ocean without the use of instruments. Now this was quite an accomplishment considering this was during a time when most European scientists believed the world was flat. So what does an old navigator priest have to teach business leaders in today's global market? As companies weather economic storms and executives are called upon to navigate its turbulence, the skills of the Micronesians offer valuable lessons. Their heightened perception and vision allows them to anticipate changing conditions. Their wisdom affords them the ability to act decisively, and their fierce courage gives them that fortitude to face life's challenges. These are the qualities that are being demanded of 21st century leaders. So whether a navigator on Satual Island or a corporate executive on Park Avenue, wayfinders are breed unlike any other. While I was on expedition to Mao's Island home, I was pushing a wheelbarrow full of camera gear and sound gear as fast as I could. It was the only form of transportation that I had on the island. And I'm going down this dirt road as fast as I can. Coming toward me is a Sotheby's chief. And he says, Dr. Lindsay, why you go so fast? <laughs> Felt like I was being stopped for speeding. You know? And I, I explained the situation that the crew was waiting on the other side of the island, and I didn't want anybody waiting for me. And he just looked at me, and he said, you all have watches, but you have no time. The third and final lesson is courage. The courage to transform, the courage to rise and live a life that takes you from success to significance. The journey of the hero isn't easy. I mean, if it were, anyone could be heroic. As Mao would say, don't pray for good weather. You pray for courage. Without the storm, how can you become a master? The future belongs to those who can blend vision, reason or wisdom, and courage in a personal commitment to serve humanity. Your organization has the potential to bear an elixir of unprecedented magnitude for the world. It's a privilege that's rare and holds such power and promise. Like the ancient navigators who sailed uncharted waters, you are now the wayfinders.